Hello again dear friends. In this video I will talk about zebra adaptation in their habitat. Thank you for watching my video I wish you enjoy it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel this will give me great support to produce more videos about animals adaptation. And let me know in the comments below if you want more videos about adaptation of a specific animal. What are the adaptations in zebras, habitats? Zebras have adapted to their environments in a variety of ways. These include changes in their anatomy, physiology, and even personality. Some adaptations help to keep predators and parasites at bay. Others assist them in feeding and obtaining food supplies. These adaptations vary from the obvious, such as their stripes, to the subtle, such as their herding behavior. Stripes the stripes of a zebra undoubtedly draw the most attention of any adaptation. However, these stripes perform multiple functions. Dazzle concealment is an example of this. Dazzle camouflage, unlike other types of camouflage, does not conceal the zebra. Instead, it disrupts his outline and makes it difficult for predators to gauge distances, causing their strikes to be thrown off when hunting. Furthermore, because the zebra's patterns do not match other mammals from a fly's perspective, the stripes may confuse certain parasitic flies. Teeth. Zebras have a variety of teeth that help them thrive in their environments. Zebras use their powerful incisors in the front of their mouths to bite off grass and other vegetation. Zebras have molars and premolars in the back of their jaws to grind down their food. Zebras, unlike other mammals, have large, high-crowned grinding teeth because many of the grasses they consume contain a high silica content that can wear down teeth. Males also have larger canine canines for fighting. Males who perform better in fights have a higher chance of finding a mate and reproducing. The digestive tract. Zebras have several digestive tract adaptations that allow them to better utilize the foods in their surroundings. The majority of digestion happens in the cecum, as it does in other members of the horse family. The cecum is a blind pouch located just after the stomach at the opening of the small intestine. Bacteria aid in the breakdown of the zebra's sustenance before it is absorbed by the body. This enables food to move more quickly through the digestive tract of a zebra. For zebra, this evolution has both advantages and disadvantages. On the one hand, they can obtain useful nutrition from low-quality grasses, allowing them to forage in places where other animals cannot. On the downside, they need to consume more grasses to get enough protein, which forces them to eat more grasses. Physical buildings are not required for all adaptations. In addition to bodily adaptations, zebras have several behavioral adaptations. For example, most zebra species, like other members of the horse family, exist in herds. Unlike most horse types, Zebras frequently herd with other animals such as giraffes. While this behavioral adaptation provides many of the same benefits for all herding animals, such as more eyes to detect predators, living in groups improves some other zebra characteristics adaptations. The stripes help break up their outlines in groups, making it more difficult for predators to discern the form of individual zebra. This helps everyone in the group, even the grievous zebra, which does not exist in true herds, forms small groups. How many types of zebra are there? Birchells or Plains zebra, Grevy's zebra, and Mountain zebra are the three varieties of zebra. Although the appearance of each species is identical, there are differences. All zebra species favor open grassland and can be found in eastern Africa, notably Kenya, and parts of southern Africa, particularly around the Limpopo and Zambezi rivers. Species of zebras, like horses and donkeys, are members of the equid family. The group's primary characteristics are that they are long-lived, fast movers with large teeth suitable for chewing on anything herbivorous. Zebras of all species survive for about 25 years in the wild and up to 40 years in captivity. The zebra resembles a horse, except for his short, tufted mane and unique stripes. Each zebra species has its own general stripe pattern. But each zebra has his own unique stripe pattern, much like an individual has a unique set of fingerprints. Scientists give some theories about the function of zebra stripes. 
They can serve as camouflage, as sunscreen, or as a barrier. Two zebra species are named after the scientists who found and identified them, as is customary in the sciences. The plains zebra, also known as the Birchell zebra, is the most common of the three species. According to the African Wildlife Foundation, one of the best locations to see plains zebra is in Tanzania's Serengeti National Park. The plains zebra prefers to reside in small groups that include a stallion, a few mares, and the young. These small groups rarely band together to create spectacularly large herds. These herds are typically the first to explore new grazing pastures, especially wetlands. They trample the tall foliage, allowing the gazelle and wildebeest to follow. Grevy the zebra. Grevy's zebra weighs between 770 and 990 pounds, whereas Birchell's zebra weighs between 485 and 550 pounds. It differs from other zebra species in two ways, it has a longer mane and bigger ears. Birchell's zebra is only about 5 inches taller than the Grevy, indicating that Birchell's zebra has a much stockier frame. Maybe that's why the Romans used Grevy's zebra, Hippotigris, to draw carts in circuses. Grevy's zebras are mostly located in northern Kenya, but in much smaller numbers. According to the AWF, there are only about 2,500 grievies in Africa, down from 15,000 just a few decades ago. One significant threat to these is the conversion of grazing land to agricultural use. Mountain zebras. The mountain zebra is divided into two subspecies, Hartmann's and Cape Mountain zebra. These species are primarily found in southern Africa, specifically Namibia and western South Africa. This species favors mountainous areas over Birchell's and Grevy's zebra. His stripes are thinner and more numerous than those of the Birchell's zebra, and he distinguishes himself from the other two varieties by having broad stripes on his rump. He also has a dewlap, a fold of flesh on his throat that other zebras do not have. Both varieties are listed as threatened. Hunting used to decimate herds, but land cultivation is now a greater danger. What are some changes? Where are a zebra and a horse different? The zebra is a member of the equine species that is related to both the horse and the donkey. However, the zebra has stayed wild, whereas the horse and donkey have been largely domesticated. The zebra is still the most populous of the wild equines, and it appears that it will stay so as both the wild ass and the Shewolski's wild horse are endangered. Color. The most noticeable distinction between a horse and a zebra is pigment. Horses appear in a variety of colors and patterns, including spots and blotches, but all zebras are black and white striped. The natural camouflage pattern, like fingerprints, is unique to each person. When a plains zebra Equus quagga remains still in the tall grass of the African savanna, his wide vertical striping blends in with the grass stems, making him nearly invisible to predators. When he's in motion with the herd, fleeing from a lion, all those moving stripes produce a wavering, shifting moiré effect, blending each individual into one large fuzzy blob, making it difficult for a big cat to pick out any one zebra. Body. The legs of most horses are lengthier than their bodies at all, whereas the legs of zebras are about the same length as their body height. This causes the zebra to be slower than the horse but still quick enough to outrun a lion in the long run. His mane and tail are more donkey-like with one stiff and upright rather than long and flowing, and the other with a tuft at the end rather than being completely haired from the base. Feet. Zebra hooves are smaller and more oval in form than horse hooves, with a wider heel and more open frog. The mountain zebra's equus zebra hooves are nearly pointed, which is suitable for their rocky and difficult terrain. Sound. The zebra has a vocabulary of sounds comparable to that of the horse and donkey, including the whinny, bray, snort, and snuffle, however, the zebra has a distinct vocalization known as a bark. This is a high-pitched, two-part yipping sound, similar to that of a small canine. It is commonly heard as a warning signal. When uttered during a stampede, it warns adjacent zebras and other grazers such as wildebeests of the presence of a predator. If a family band becomes separated, it can also serve as an identification call to reach other members. Zebras eat what kind of grass? The zebra is an African equine famous for its distinctive black and white striped design. 
These hoofed creatures can be found all over Africa in savanna, plains, and grassland regions. There are currently three varieties of zebras, all of which are serious herbivorous grass eaters. The common zebra, the common zebra Equus berkeli, also known as the plains zebra, is a grazing animal that is always on the lookout for lush verdant pastures. Their preferred grass variety is short, green grass. When the weather is particularly arid, these zebras can survive on dry and rough grasses as long as they remain relatively near to water sources. Thermida triandra red oat grass is a favorite of ordinary zebras. This greenish-blue curled grass can grow up to three feet tall. Common zebras consume grasses like Cenchrus cilarus, Eragrustis superba, and Cynodon dactylon. Grevy the zebra, Grevy's zebra Equus grevy eats a lot of very coarse grasses that other zebras and equines cannot process due to their extreme toughness. The majority of the Grevy's zebra food is made up of these fibrous, tougher textured grasses, as well as forbs. Penicetum shimperi and Elevsine jagery are two instances of very coarse grasses eaten by Grevy's zebras. These zebras are unable to process grasses high in protein content, such as alfalfa grass. During the dry season, when grass is sparse, these zebras eat a lot of foliage and bark. The mountain zebra, mountain zebras Equus zebra are herbivorous, as are the other two varieties. Tufted grass is the mountain zebra's primary source of nutrition. These comparatively social creatures prefer Thermida triandra grass, but they also eat Heteropogon contortus, Kimbapogon plurinodus, Enipogon scoparius, and Cetaria neglecta grasses. And Jonas did talk about how it's a prize fighting up to get together with. Hartman's mountain zebras and Cape mountain zebras are the two varieties. Other forms of sustenance. Although grass is the majority of a zebra's diet, they do consume other things on occasion. Fruit, buds, roots, plants, shoots, and bushes are also zebra foods. What is the difference between tiger stripes and zebra stripes? Even though they both have patterns, zebras and tigers cannot be confused. Because they live on different continents, the nearest these two animals will ever get to meeting is in a zoo. Unfortunately for both of these animals, their coats make them appealing targets for pelt hunters. What exactly is a zebra stripe? A zebra is mostly black and white, though it's difficult to tell if those are white lines on a black background or black stripes on white. It depends on your perspective whether the lines are black, white, or even brown. Most zebras are white where the stripes stop, but some are born with them. Tiger stripes and colors. On a tiger, there is no doubt about which is the stripe and which is the backdrop. Tiger stripes run from pure black to light brown and are visible on their coats, which are deep reddish orange, light yellow orange, and white. While a zebra's hair contains black skin, shaving a tiger reveals the same pattern in his skin as shown on his fur. Zebra stripes are beneficial. The zebra's stripes, like your fingerprints, create a pattern that is unique to each zebra. The basic patterns of different zebra species are identical. Grevy's zebras have the thinnest stripes that extend all the way to their belly. Mountain zebras have fewer vertical stripes that widen as they approach the haunches, and some plain zebras have brownish stripes in between the black stripes. The distinct patterns may aid in zebra identification, but scientists have long suspected that the stripes help zebras conceal from predators by blending in with the tall grass surrounding them. Zebras travel in large herds and scatter when threatened, so the stripes may also function as a deterrent to predators. Tiger stripes come in handy. Tiger patterns can also be used for camouflage. Tigers live in grasslands and forests, and their coats enable them to blend in despite the color differences between their fur and their surroundings. They are not hiding from predators. Humans are the only real danger to tigers but they do not want their prey to see them. Most animals from which they must hide do not distinguish color differences to the degree that people do, so tigers can blend in quite well. Tigers, like zebras, do not have the same stripe pattern, and the density and variety of stripes vary depending on the species. The majority of lions have more than 100 stripes. Thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like to this video.